Hello friends, in this video, let's see about while loop execution. First, from functions palette, under structures, I am selecting a while loop and dragging and placing it on the block diagram screen. While loop can run infinite number of times. So, when we don't know how many times this loop should be executed, we can use while loop. And the while loop execution will get stopped only when we click on stop button or when a condition gets satisfied. So if we do a right click on this stop button, here by default stop if true condition was selected which means if a condition which we give to the stop button is true, the loop execution will get stopped. Similarly, we can also select another condition called continue if true. If we select this condition, the loop execution will continue when the condition given to the stop button is true but it will get stopped if the condition becomes false. Now I am connecting a control to the stop button to give stop condition and I am making this control as an icon by selecting view as icon. And on the front panel also we can see the stop button. I am selecting the stop button and dragging and placing it wherever required. And to know how many times this loop has been executed, I am connecting an indicator to the iteration terminal of this while loop. So in this indicator on the front panel, we can see the number of iteration. And next, let's execute this program. If we run this program by pressing run button, this loop will be continuously executing till we press the stop button. So once we press the stop button, the loop execution will get stopped. So now we have seen how to stop the loop execution by pressing stop button. Next we can see how a loop execution can get stopped when the condition gets satisfied. First for simulating values I am selecting and placing a gauge from numeric. This gauge will be acting as an indicator but in this program we are going to use this gauge as a control. So on the block diagram screen I am doing a right click on this gauge and I am selecting change to control. And now the gauge will act as a control next we are going to compare the value from the gauge with another value using a comparator if the output condition from this comparator which we give to the stop button is true the loop execution will get stopped or otherwise the execution will continue so now i am selecting and placing a greater than function inside this while loop to one of its input terminal i am giving the output from the gauge as the input and to its another input terminal I am connecting a constant and giving value 5 minutes. Next we have to connect the output terminal of the greater than function to the stop button. So we have to remove the control already which we have connected and I am connecting the output from the greater than function to the stop button. Now I am running this program. While the program is executing, we can move the red color pointer on the gauge placed on the front panel and the loop will be continuously executing till the pointer is below 5. If we move the pointer beyond 5, the loop execution will get stopped because the output from the comparator function becomes true. When this true condition reaches the stop button, the loop execution will get stopped since we have selected stop if true condition on the stop button. Again if we try to run this program with the pointer beyond 5 on the gauge, the loop will not get executed. So if we move the pointer back to the value below 5 and run this program, the loop will again start executing. And now we are going to run this loop with certain time delay. So we are placing a wait function from timing. To its terminal, I am connecting a constant and giving 500 in it. So this loop will be executing with 500 millisecond delay. Now I am running this program. We can see the difference in execution by noting the number of iteration in this indicator because the number of iteration increases with the delay since the while loop will be executing only 2 times per second. And now if I move the pointer to the value greater than 5, the condition which we give to the stop button gets satisfied and the loop execution is getting stopped. And the advantage of while loop is, in case if we don't know how many times the loop should be executed, this while loop can be used. And this while loop will be continuously executing till a condition gets satisfied. 
or it can be stopped only if we press the stop button but for loop can be used only if we know the number of times the loop should be executed so in this video we have seen about while loop execution in our next video we can continue with another topic thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you